Hi guys, and welcome back to the Not Great Gamer. So, today we're jumping back in with Monster Hunter. We're going to continue on with our Elder Dragons. Uh, and today we are going to be doing the Kushala Deora. Uh, excuse me if I've said that wrong. I, yeah, I'm i not that good at pronouncing its name. I just call it the Kushala Deora. It's easier for me to say. Um, I thought I'd start on this page just so you can get a quick overview of what its uh, like weaknesses are, like what you can cut, what you can break, weak points and stuff like that. So, and then obviously your rewards and stuff. So I thought I'd give that a little go, see how that goes down. Um, so it's weakest to um, thunder and blast. Uh, I suddenly realised that I don't have any thunder weapons. Uh, I also realised when I was doing this that I don't have any hammers. I have three, which was bizarre. Um, so it's this one, and we want the Master of the Gale. Okay, gonna go for it. Uh, it starts up near the Eastern Camp, so you're best off going that way. Um, I'm just gonna use a blast weapon, it's a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna get this one on, because this is what I use for my Elder Dragons, and... So recently, that is the Hunter's Ruin Stone. So this is the post um, Witcher crossover. So I'm gonna have a little bash of this stone. I am gonna do the Witcher DLC while it's out. I've, well, yeah, technically it is a DLC because it is it is downloadable content. Um, it's yeah, I'm gonna class it as a DLC. So yeah, the Witcher DLC uh, came out yesterday. Um, there's been mixed reviews with it. People are a little bit either way because you do. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but yeah, people are a little bit either way with it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get some um, my buffs, uh, make sure I've got everything. Uh, I think I've got. I just need to double check, make sure I've got. Yes, I do. I just need to make sure I've got my Demon Dragon armor skin, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's head off. Okay, so basically you just need to yeah, head over this way. I'm just going to quickly send out my SOS flare because Elder Dragons people generally join Elder Dragons. Um, not as quickly as most of them. So some of them you'll see a lot people will join a lot faster. Um, not many people like the Kushladora because it's quite hard. Uh, so this is the big bad boy. Um, I forgot to take my stuff. <laughs> I think he sits down here, I can't remember. I want to test out this. Okay, it did seven damage, that was pointless. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just gonna jump straight into it. Yep. Uh, you need quite a few. I would say flash bombs. Sorry, I was looking at the bottom left, right hand corner of my screen trying to get the flash bombs on. So basically, you just need to. Now, in the old games, um, if you broke his horns, his um, wind ability was weakened and he didn't use it as much. But that may have changed in later games. Uh, I don't think it's the case. This is a move you have to watch out for. So he jumps up, and he should. He normally comes slamming down. Oh, there we go. I've got some pretty decent armor, so it's not too bad. I'd suggest um, having over 400 defense for this, because you're probably gonna need it. Oh God, will you stop moving? Right, I'm gonna try flash bombing. No, there's no point because he's on the ground. Yeah, I thought he'd keep doing that. Let's just see it. I need a rule. Quickly heal. Just gonna move back a little bit as well. Uh, in my chair. Uh, he's come crashing down, but there's big old wind around. Uh, should be able to get to his back. Nope! <laughs> That's the only problem with the Kushadara is he's got... If you don't have wind resistance, like uh, the kit to get really good wind resistance, you're pretty much fucked if he's got one of these big tornado things. 
Oh, yo. Okay. Sort of really saw that coming. Uh, yeah. Basically, he's a wind based. He, he used to do ice damage. In the old games, he used to do ice damage as well. I don't know if that's still the case. I, it's been a while since I've done the Kushildara. Um, but from what I remember, he used to do yeah, ice damage. Come on, run away. He's gonna do. Yeah, there's another tornado up. Bloody brilliant. Now you can get on his back. It is incredibly hard to. Um, but you can do it. Uh, oh, okay, so Tom Skater just joined. Thanks for joining me. Um, he can't hear me, I'm just saying thank you. Just just to be polite, basically. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're continuing on with our Elder Dragons. Um, the Nergagante was the first one. Uh, and we're going to do Kushladora. I think we're going to do... What's the other one? I, I'm going to do the Devil Jaw, because... I always class the Devil Joe as an Elder Dragon because he's just up there with in like sheer hardness or like sheer like he's basically got Elder Dragon status as uh, in my books he has. He's classed as a brute wyvern though, so uh, don't take this as law, but yeah. We're gonna go through some of the, the difficult monsters, shall we say, in the game. Uh, that would be an easier explanation of it. Ooh, away from me. Where's this bloody Tom person? Oh, that went wrong. I thought he was jumping up. Oh, he did it. Yay! Ah! Oh, got hit. So you can break his head, his wings, his legs, I think? I think you can break his legs. Sorry, I need to put bash in. Okay, he's flying away. And you can sever his tail as well, which is uh, quite... Di no, I didn't want to put that on. Oh, that was close. I'm going to try and get him to do this. What did I get? I don't know. Use your bongo now. Use your bongo. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Best thing ever, this. Best thing ever. There we go. And the gate's done. Not the best in the world, but alright. Yeah, I keep getting attacked by that. It's a bit awkward when he's in the... When he's in a tornado, it is awkward to get to him. Is he on it? I don't know what he's doing. This is a pretty decent place to get on his back. For the simple reason that you can... You can slide. So you can slide a bit easier. Now, I don't know why I'm not getting affected by the wind. I cannot see. God knows what it looks like for you guys. But I can't see. Ooh, get out of my way. No. Ooh. Okay, that's what his wind attack does. It's quite strong, actually. Um, so just be prepared for that. Uh, okay, let's do this. Oh, we've got earplugs. Cool. That's another great effect from my little kitty. Oh, he's raising my defense. Ah, it's... So you can probably see the difference. That one there is a little bit... That one's just dark as hell. So, these are the ones that you generally just cannot get into at all. I'm going to put this on. Because I reckon that some big old attacks are coming soon. Yay, got on his back! Get him a move. I'm not quite surprised that we're only doing this for two people. I thought a lot more people would have joined. Um, please tell me he hasn't just put a trap down. Okay, that was quite bizarre. So a lot of people will hold on 
when they're doing um, when they're on uh, a monster's back, I generally try to um, just move about. Uh, it's a little bit quicker. Okay, so his wound's gone, and we hopefully get some pretty decent attacks on his head. A full red. Let's try and get one off. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Didn't work. Run away. I'm gonna go for it. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, this is going pretty well. It's, it's it is quite daunting when you first do a um, an elder dragon because they don't, they don't like anything you've ever seen before in the game, especially if you're doing the game like first playthrough um, and you've never played a monster hunter game before. They are really daunting because they're just like nothing else you've ever seen, and it's just bizarre. I think it's cat. I put that down. I'm not sure. But we seem to be doing okay. I really want to get the tail off. That would be really, really useful. Oop, bounced off. Ugh, come on. The the armor, the armor looks really cool as well for this. Um, the, uh, the weapons, surprisingly enough, the weapons are animals. They're based on animals. So, like, the, um, uh, take for instance the charge blade. The charge blade is uh, a turtle and a sword, so the shield is like a, a turtle. The, the um, uh, what else? The, I know, I know that the insect glaive, that's an owl. I don't know why. Uh, no, it's not an owl, sorry. It's a squid, and I don't know why. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Ooh, I need to pick this up. Uh, so cool little trick. Uh, when you come down here, there is big, big crystals. And if it is over there, I can hit that one. It'll drop and does about 900 damage. And it also gives you a chance to get some attacks off. So that is top tip. Aim for the icicles. There's another one, but it's a little bit harder to get into position. This one's pretty easy. I didn't think I was going to get that off anyway. There is another one, and it's over here. If I can find it. Whoa. The other good thing about this area is there is these little plants. Bite lilies. Ooh, that was ridiculous. Okay, where is... I'm trying to find the other... Hey! There you go. That's what it is. Gives you a really good opportunity to get some attacks off. Uh, there's only two in this area. You can't really... Uh, there's not a lot that you can hit. You can hit them. But uh, it just doesn't do anything. Okay. That went a bit weird. I'm facing the wrong fucking way now. Stop putting traps down! That doesn't do anything. Okay. This... Come in. So, the thing with Elder Dragons as well is Elder Dragons have ridiculous amounts of health. Like, I'm talking ridiculous amounts. Um, when they get... When you get to, like, the uh, tempered and arch-tempered Elder Dragons, they have, like, half or third health, but their attack is, like, double. So they hit incredibly hard. Uh, so that's just something you need to be wary of. Um, it can sort of lure you into a false sense of security. Because you're thinking, yeah, this is easy, I could do this, yeah. Why, why wouldn't this be, uh, like, any harder? Uh, but yeah, they, they do hit quite hard. I'm going for the tail. Well, I'm going to try to. I really want to get this tail off. It's so. Each. Um, he's held a dragon, so stuff like. If you faced. Oh, I'm trying to think. Something like that. So you faced a, a, a Rathalos. You can, you can generally cut the tail quite easy. 
on Elder Dragons, their stuff is incredibly hard to break off. Uh, you could be hitting something for the entire match and you might only just get it off. If I can give one piece of advice with you, I need to heal. Really need to heal. Oh, that's a big attack. Um, yeah, if I could give one piece of advice with Elder Dragons, it's learn to dodge. Dodge will save your life, basically. What fucking wind? Oh, that didn't go very well. Hurt him, but it didn't do it very much. So someone's been really, really helpful and brought a shit ton of um, flashbugs. Uh, I forgot to. Normally I do bring actually quite a bit, but I just forgot today. Or this episode. This Elder Dragon in particular. I forgot to bring them. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, learn to dodge. I would suggest bringing a fast-ish weapon. Um, plenty of flashbooks, as you can probably tell, it's making this a lot easier. I think it just fell over. Okay, right. Come on, get off! Oh, he's limping. Don't feel sorry for him if any of you have just gone, Oh, look at him. No, he's an evil bastard. But this team seems to be quite good, even though there's three of us, we actually seem to be doing quite well. Oh, look, it's the Teostra. We'll do him later. <laughs> but a uh, sneak peek of what's to come. Quite a quite a ferocious beast. He's uh he's not very friendly. He looks cute when he's um. The it? Oh, he's going right to the top. So yeah, so there's only I think there's only two monsters that come up to this this part, and one is the Kusladara, the other is the right. I can't pronounce his name right, but I will do I will do it because it is quite a unique monster. Uh, the Belgies. I don't know if that's right or not. But yeah, we'll um, we'll have a look at that as well. Another quick way up, just yep. Now I hope that everyone has brought some bombs because this makes it so much easier if you just do this. Boom and boom. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put down your bombs. Okay. What are we doing? Bombs. Are we bombing it? Are we bombing it? What are we doing? There, there we go, there's some bombs. And... Yep, he's gonna charge up. Screw it. Should kill him. Nope. Do fuck all. Okay, <laughs> normally you get like a bunch of bombs and you can usually break the horns um, when you do that because when they're asleep you get a bit of a bonus. You get like the sleep, it's like a sleeping bonus sort of thing so you end up getting... I don't know why he's like... He glitched out, he's glitched out a bit. There we go. We've broke. Nothing on this thing. Oh, I say that. His tail's come off. It's the tiniest little snip as well. It's not much. Hey! Done! We just got the tail off as well. And the Kushaladara, everyone. The Kushala Deora. Uh, if I say it properly. Uh, I'm going to return to the. the uh, disband and return to party. Uh, okay, so we've just done the Kushala Deora. I will now show you quickly the 
weapons and well not the weapon not all of the weapons but I'll show you the armor um, it's a very cool looking piece of armor but not a lot of people appreciate it but it, it does come with quite good stats as well so I'll show you that in a sec yeah so this is the armor guys uh, it looks quite cool you sort of look like I would say you sort of look like an Egyptian um, that's what I would put it down to like an ancient Egyptian warrior or something um, it's very very cool you can change the detail and it looks really really awesome um, some of the uh, yeah I want to do that uh, so some of the the effects that you can get uh, you get right there because I need to oh, wrong one wrong one nope press the wrong button there we go uh, so you get crucial of flight which negates all wind pressure uh, you I think you get handicraft plus five actually uh, so your weapon sharpness goes all the way up to the top ice attack so it boosts the ice attack by five percent so say if you've got a uh, hundred ice attack on a weapon you'll get 105 uh, plus a hundred so you'll end up with 205 um, evade extender greatly extends the invasion evasion distance which is actually really good so you jump you roll like I think it's one and a half that you end up rolling um, the invulnerability window that's really cool so it just means that when you're getting up you've got less chance of getting hit uh, trim resistance is mine and I think uh, focus that might be not I think that is on there actually, yeah. Um, so you end up uh, gauges fill up right uh, five times, uh, five percent faster. God, I can't get my words out today. Uh, so there, there's some pretty cool. Um, you can have a lot of fun with that, especially with the evade extender. So say if you're um, sword and shield or dual blades, that is greatly for you. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll show you some of the weapons quickly. Uh, don't, yeah, there is a great sword. So if I find it, I need to go on the trees. Uh, I think this is an owl. Um, the weapons do ice damage, so that's the wing of an owl. Uh, I'm not sure you guys can see that. Uh, that's quite fun, uh, quite cool. The long sword. I don't think there is a long sword actually. I'll just double check. They all do ice damage, uh, so they're quite easy to spot. It doesn't have a long sword. Uh, the don't think it has steel blades. <laughs> oh wow, doing really well here. Uh, the hammer, I think it has a hammer. Not entirely too sure. Yes, it does. The hammer is a snake's head, uh, so that's pretty fun. Um, the lance, Ooh, I can't remember what the lance actually is. I don't come on the lances very often. Uh, the lance is a I think that is a lion's head as the shield uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it properly but uh, yeah it's quite interesting and the one that people don't like as much is this one which is a squid <laughs> so you can probably tell why people don't really like it because they're just carrying a squid on their back um, but yeah so that's the Kusha, uh, Kushala Deora uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode um, and I will be back. We're going to be doing some more Elder Dragons. Uh, I think the next one we're going to be doing is... You'll find out, because I haven't decided yet. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. So uh, bye for now. Yeah.